The first runner-up is Catalina Foothills, Jordan Owen, your new Miss Arizona USA, Candace Canevo! And that was the crowning moment for Candace Canevo winning the title of Miss Arizona USA. But that's not the most impressive part about her. Candace is also a police officer with the Tempe Police Department, and she hopes to use her new title as a way to bridge the gap between law enforcement and communities across the nation. And Candace joins us now. Candace, bravo to you. I think this is so great. Uh, it must have been such a joy, first of all, to win the crown. Uh, what did that moment feel like to you? And why did you decide to enter the Miss USA competition, the Miss Arizona competition? Yeah, thank you so much. Um, it was a crazy moment for me. I had been competing uh, for the title of Miss Arizona USA for six years. So uh, it was a culmination of all those efforts throughout the years coming together at this point um, when I'm crowned and just realizing that my life really can change overnight through this process. So um, I actually started competing in pageants, ironically enough, through um, an organization or a event called Shop with the Cop. Um, I was a volunteer there and I saw a title holder that was there and I was like, oh my gosh, that is amazing. I want to do that. And I had no idea at the time that I was going to be a police officer later in life. So it's just really funny that that's how I started out in pageants. But since then, it's just been an amazing journey. I've grown so much as a person, learned so many skills that I now get to apply in my career as an officer. Yeah, so what do um, people think? Of course, uh, they see you in uh, the gown now with the crown there beautifully. Um, and then they hear that you're a police officer in your day job. What reactions do you get? People are have been so kind. It's been such a positive response to finding out that I am a police officer and do pageants. I've gotten so many messages um, that have been very encouraging to me, but they're saying that I encourage their daughter or um, them themselves to go after whatever it is that they want. And that's really my message for people is you can be anything and everything that you want to be. I can be a police officer and go out and fight crime and then compete on a stage in an evening gown with full hair and makeup. Um, it doesn't, I'm not limited by either of those passions of mine. Good for you. Um, you know, lately we also see so many headlines regarding uh, like defund the police movement. Um, I feel like it's so tough to be an officer these days as a cop yourself. Um, how are you hoping to sort of use your platform to bridge the gap uh, between communities and police and help police, you know, just people understand just how tough it is to be a man or woman in blue? Yeah, absolutely. I think it really comes from just um, shedding that light into my own life, offering up uh, a lens to see what I do um, will give people an idea that police officers were real people. We have passions, hobbies, families, faith, all of these things um, that make us more alike to people than I think the community really realizes. They, it's easy to see the uniform, the badge, all of those things and strip away the, the humanness um, that we all have. And so through this title, I have a huge sphere of influence and I hope to use it to um, show people that we are real people. We're out there trying to make a difference. Everybody who joins law enforcement wants to serve others and make a difference. And I hope that people see me and can um, soften their hearts a little bit towards law enforcement and we can start to change the narrative. Yeah, I'm sure. And by the way, they'll probably arrest me again because you're beautiful. <laughs> uh, they'll probably say that. Why did you want to be a cop? Uh, what inspired you personally and how long have you been an officer for? Yeah, so um, I had some an interesting childhood growing up and we had some interactions with police just from incidents going on um, in my family. And I really saw those officers as um, a sense of hope and safety, and I wanted to be that for other kids. So now when I go out on patrol, when I see um, kids in scary situations, I see a little bit of myself in them, and knowing that I can be that sense of safety and security for them is why I do what I do. You know, you also uh, just recently launched the Yes, She Can initiative, and you can do anything uh, after talking to you, Candace. Um, tell <laughs> us what this means, and what do you hope to accomplish? 
Yeah, Yes She Can is an initiative that I created. It's all about really promoting confidence and capabilities, specifically focusing on women. Uh, through this campaign, I've been able to teach over 200 women skills like self-defense and situational awareness, which the importance of that is, is to help them never feel stuck in a situation that they don't know how to get out of. But it also really breeds that confidence when they discover, oh, I can do this, so maybe I can go out and tackle another thing. Um, so it's kind of a twofold. You get that confidence from gaining those skills, but you also have these skills that are incredibly valuable that can keep you safe. Absolutely, which is so important these days on so many levels. Well, thank you so much for everything you do. Uh, you're terrific out there, of course, on the stage, and also everything you're doing also just to keep our streets safe. Bravo to you, and good luck also uh, in the big thank Miss you. USA pageant happening later this year. We're going to be rooting for you big time. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.